tell you basics. When you look at a number like this, um, it's important to know that this 7 has a means something much different than this 7. They are not worth the same thing. And that's because the value of a digit depends on its position in the number. Because this 7 is much further to the left, it's worth a lot more than this 7 is worth. And this whole idea is based on the base 10 number system. In um, our base 10 number system, the value of each place is 10 times the value of the place to its right. So let's look at an example and see what that means. In this number, 3,333, we see that each time we go one place to the right, that 3 is worth 10 times more than the one before it. And I've also drawn here, um, modeled the number using base 10 blocks, as we will be doing in class. So we have three cubes here to represent the ones place. You multiply that 3 times 10, and this 3 is worth 30 in the tens place. And we're using three rods. Each one of these is um, 10 little cubes stuck together. So 10, 20, 30 cubes. This 3 represents 30. 10 times that would be 300. Each of these flats is 10 of these rods stuck together. 100, 200, 300. So this 3 is worth 300. And then you multiply that place value, that 3, times 10, and you get the thousands place. And this 3 is worth 3,000. Each of these large cubes is worth 1,000. That's 1,000 of these tiny little uh, base 10 cubes. So as we move um, each place to the left, it's um, 10 times bigger than the place before. It's important to be able to know the name of each place value so that you can work with them easily. And um, I like to sing a song in order to quickly name each place value. So I'm going to sing you my song. We're going to go all the way up to the billions place. It goes like this. Ones place, tens place, hundreds place, comma, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, comma, million, ten million, hundred million, comma, just ten digits to a billion. So I think if you will get that song in your head, you'll be able to quickly find the place values on any number that you're given. Remember, though, that there is sort of an invisible decimal right here. The decimal point always falls um, to the right of the ones place. And when we start talking about decimals later in the year, that'll be really important to know that there is a decimal right here, and that'll help you find the ones place and then later the tenths place as well. So here are three different kinds of questions that you may see. Um, they're all worded just a little bit different to tell you what kind of answer they want that uses the place value names. So look at those three examples. Which digit is in the millions place? When they ask for a digit, they just want one single number. And so we find the millions place, and then we name the digit that is there, which is 6. If we're asked the value of the digit in the millions place, this word value is asking how much it's worth. So you need to figure out what's in the millions place, but then tell how much that's, that number is worth. So this 6 is not worth 6. The value of this 6 is 6 million. Or you could write it by writing a 6 and then placing a 0 in every place after it to the right. So we would write that it's worth 6 million, or you could write it in word form. This is in standard form. Which place value is the 8 in? When they're asking for a place value, that's the name of one of the place values, so one of these words in purple. So we're going to find the 8, and then we're going to figure out which place value it's in. If you didn't have them written, you could sing the song. Ones place, tens place, hundreds place, comma, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, comma, million, ten million, hundred million. So this 8 is in the hundred millions place. So be careful that you watch out for exactly what the question is asking for um, when you uh, have place value questions. You are often going to have to ha take a number that's in standard form, that's just written in regular numbers, and turn it into word form. So in order to do that, you need to know that a period is a group of three place values. So these three place values together make up the ones period. These three make up the thousands period. And these three place values together make the millions period. And of course, if you had three more digits, this, that would make the billions period. So in order to read this large number, 
you're going to read the number within each period. So you're going to start here and read this number, just like you would normally read this number if, these other, if the rest of it wasn't here. Then you're going to say the name of the period every time you see a comma. So when you see this comma, you're going to say the name of the period. So read it, say the name of the period, read it, say the name of the period, read it. And we don't actually say the ones place at the end. So let's mu see how that works down here. So this is 475 million, and we named the period here, 602,000, 602,000, we named, and then we saw that comma, we named the period, 183. Um, a couple of reminders about word form, things that uh, people commonly mess up. Be sure that you don't say or write the word and unless there is a decimal in the number. This number right here, 4,602, lots of people are tempted to read it like 4,602. But you only use the word and if there's a decimal. For example, you would read this one, 3 and 61 hundredths. So don't say and unless you see a decimal. Number two, make sure you use commas in the same place as they are found in standard form. Remember, standard form is number form. And so when you're going to write this, where the, this comma falls in the number, make sure you place it in your written form. So 5,000, and then I put that comma right after it because it's in the same place as it's found in the number. The numbers 21 through 99 are hyphenated. And hyphenated is this small line that falls between the, um, the tens number and the ones number. So 21, 22, 23, all the way up to 99, except for the, of course, 30, 40, 50, 60, but those, all of the rest of the numbers um, in between 21 and 99 are hyphenated. And watch out for this smell, spelling mistake that even lots of adults still make. 4 has a U in it, but 40 does not have a U in it. And finally, one more um, way to write numbers. So we had standard form, word form, one last way to write numbers in is, is in expanded form. And in expanded form, you show the value of each digit and you add them together um, like an addition problem. So this number, 57,936, we're going to write the value of the 5, which is 50,000. The value of the 7 is 7,000. The value of the 9 is 900. The value of the 3 is 30. And the value of the 6 is six, six ones. And this is right here written in expanded form, so just as an addition problem. Um, one note that you might um, come across, if you have a zero in one of the place values, you don't need to write um, a zero in that spot in the order. You're going to go in order, and when you get to the tens place, which is right here, just skip it, because you don't need to add it there. Just skip it and go straight on to whatever is the next place value where you have a digit greater than zero.